So on this episode of Test Gear Ted, and we have another AVO meter. Now we did the AVO Model 8 before, and we did another one which was a digital AVO meter. And I also made a, a, a quick look at uh, a, a, a rather modern looking yellow AVO analog meter. Now this one looks much more like the Model 8. It's Bakelite, it's black, it's got a an analog display here. The, 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 the uh, scale here is entirely analog with a pointer. Um, it's got a lovely big clicky rotary switch for the range selection, just the one switch rather than the two of the Model 8. And down here we've got the terminals that connect up to the leads which are in the little box which I haven't um, got ready. There we go. So there's a couple of uh, leads there. Um, looking rather dated because they don't have any um, safety features at all. They're just bare leads, no sleeves around them, no uh, protective insulation. And if you switch it to a current range, you don't have to move. I got those backward back to front. Um, if you switch it to a current range, you don't have to change the leads over. So there is a risk if you were just turning this dial and you got round to the current ranges and you still had these attached to a voltage source, you're actually shorting the voltage source straight through the meter on a current range. Um, there's an ohms zero knob in the usual way so that you can compensate for the uh, battery being a bit low. Um, hasn't, by the looks of it, got a cutout, which the big AVO Model 8 has. Um, but it, it, it kind of looks a bit like the AVO Model 8. It's in, in the same sort of style in some ways with this lovely black Bakelite case. So what's it like inside? Is it going to be like the Model 8? Is it going to be all brass and Bakelite in there? Or is it going to be a little bit more modern and with a PCB and modern looking components? This is actually an AVO Multiminer Mark V, um, made in Dover, England. But because it says Mark V on there, on the on the um, on the scale, I think this could be slightly newer than it might look from the Bakelite on the outside. So let's have a look at the back of it. I've already taken the screw out, so we can just lift the back off, and there we go. What have we got? Let's just zoom that in a little bit and see what we've got in here. We seem to have a bit of a, a mixture of... Down here we've got brass terminals and point-to-point -point wiring. But up here we've got what looks a little bit like a printed circuit board. We've got some a little bit of um, around the switch a certain amount of printed circuit board, but it's been hand-wired. The whole thing has been assembled by hand. These resistors have been soldered up by hand onto the terminals. Um, over here we've got more resistors individually hand-wired to terminals. The switch, if I turn it, yeah, that's a bit more modern in style and look, more like a modern meter. But then over here that's the ohms zeroing pot, and sure enough, I turn that, and it's just a a wire wound pot, quite scrape, it's quite scratchy, wire wound pot. Um, the battery would fit in here, double A battery, um, and yeah, it's molded into the Bakelite. The Bakelite case is it is molded in there to take the the parts of the um, zeroing pot. Uh, over here, this is the back of the meter itself. The meter movement is in there, the, the moving coil. There's the meter leads coming out of it. Um, there's some components over here. That might even be some kind of thermal compensation. Hard to say. Some sort of shunt down there. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's a funny combination of old and new. Some of this stuff looks printed circuit board on the back of the switch looks fairly new in style but then there's hardwired uh, individual components of, of these range selection resistors and there's a big brass tab down there on the back of the uh, meter uh, terminal. 
So that's the... Uh, oh, there's a couple of... Um, what look like germanium diodes there for the AC ranges. So that's the AVO Multi Miner, um, the Mark V. Can't see a date code in there, unfortunately, which would have been nice to have spotted, give us some idea of when it was made. Um, it's got some of the features of the, or the style of the old AVO Model 8, which was all brass and Bakelite. But it's also got some of the features of a more modern meter with a certain amount of um, Phillips head screws and printed circuit boards and components that look a little bit more modern. So if you like that, do click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more interesting, I hope, videos like this one.